Cirilla, a medicinal herb, is found to have inhibitory effects on novel coronavirus, bringing hopes to the fight against the pandemic. The family of a bone marrow recipient write eight thank you letters, expressing their gratitude to the selfless dedication of the donor. 欢迎收睇《大爱 Headlines》，我系 Ruby， 我哋一齐嚟睇下今日嘅内容。The herb Pirilla is a medicinal and edible plant easily available in the market. It has dual effects of internal and external use. The National Defense Medical Center and Tianjin University formed an anti-coronavirus research team and found that Pirilla extract is effective in inhibiting the novel coronavirus, which may be used in a combined cocktail therapy to treat COVID disease. 在非常短时间内，我们希望说。In a very short period of time, we hope to focus on the drugs with proven medicinal effects. Otherwise, according to traditional methods, it may take many years to develop a drug. Perilla is often used in Chinese medicine. We took it for some tests. Unexpectedly, in the high biosafety level laboratory, its effects on cells or even several animals are very prominent. The research team fed the infected hamsters with perilla extract. And found that they would indeed hunt down the virus. The results of this research have been patented in September last year and are currently undergoing human trials. Similar studies have been published in Germany and India, and the Academia Sinica also has relevant verifications. Perilla has several varieties depending on the color of leaves. The aromas, tastes, and usage are all different. At present in Taiwan, we mainly focus on purple pomila and green pomila, which can be used as drugs. In fact, there is a study in Germany on these two varieties. It's fine. The battle between humans and the novel coronavirus has not yet seen its end. Research units have to speed up their pace. The National Defense Medical Center is equipped with both safety level two, three, and four laboratories. As it requires large amounts of anti-epidemic materials, the National Taipei University Alumni Association specially donated relevant supplies. I think this so-called support not only represents the unity of our military and civilians, but also the cooperation with academia. It also represents that all our people are united in the fight against the pandemic. Under this pandemic, many government departments have encountered the same problem on budgeting and procurement. The entire procurement process has slowed down, while the cost of anti-epidemic materials increased because of running out of supplies. So at this time, assistance from public organizations are much needed. On the road of research, this assistance indeed enhanced the strength of fighting against the virus. There was a COVID cluster infection in Jiayi County. The two new cases were within the suspected list of the government. One of them was the 10-month-old baby girl who was the youngest confirmed patient admitted to Dai Ning Zizi Hospital. With the care of medical workers, her condition was finally stable. We now arrange for this 10-month-old girl to be treated in the hospital with her mother, who has been confirmed COVID. Jai County government announced that there were cases of infections adding to new COVID cases who are from the same family living together. One of them was a 10-month-old baby girl. These two cases are within our suspected list due to the contact with the COVID-confirmed person. We have already screened more than 1,600 people. All of them are negative so far. There are 11 COVID patients, including this mother and daughter pair, admit to Dalin Ziji Hospital colonially. The baby girl, who is the youngest one, started to have a fever and loss of appetite as soon as she came in. 
She had a fever since she was admitted to the hospital, has been stable now. Her appetite and vitality have slowly recovered. So we are currently more optimistic that she should recover soon. Relatively speaking, she has less chance of being severely ill. The COVID confirmed case belongs to Alpha variant after virus gene sequencing. Related pandemic investigation and supervision are still ongoing. The Jai government has retreated his control measures until August 6. Whether it will be lifted will depend on pandemic situation later. The Department of Nursing of the University of Science and Technology and the Asian Institute of Medicine, Science and Technology of Malaysia signed the first Memorandum of Understanding, laying the foundation for academic exchange between both schools. It is expected to broaden the international vision of their students and teachers, nurturing outstanding nursing talents together. And we look forward to Through the video call, the Department of Nursing of Tzu University of Science and Technology and the Asian Institute of Medicine, Science and Technology of Malaysia signed a Memorandum of Understanding, beginning the first step of cooperation. Dedicate ourselves to nurture professionals who acquire both technical knowledge and the humanistic dispositions have been constantly sending our students to countries in the Asia Pacific, including Malaysia. So this new MOU with Ames University serves as another milestone for us. In the nursing department of the University of Science and Technology, the annual admission rate of nurses is higher than the national average. The nursing building on campus also has basic nursing classrooms, nursing laboratories, and OSCE Clinical Skills Center, providing a good learning environment to students and actively nurturing nursing talents with equal emphasis on professionalism and humanistic qualities. Serving people and serving society from this perspective, we think that Ziji is a good platform for us to learn dedicating our great love to the patients. Whether it's a science or technology management or medical knowledge, both are the focus areas of the two schools. Through students or teachers academy exchange, we strive our best to nature the needed nursing staff in different aspects of medical and health care. It is expected to broaden students' international horizons through international exchange between two schools, so that the nursing students can use their professionalism and love to contribute their expertise to society. El Manahu International School in Turkey recently held a graduation ceremony for high school girl class. 21 graduates were embarked on the next journey of their lives. On the graduation ceremony, everyone has a wish. No matter what their wishes are, the teachers gave them encouragement and full blessings. I want to cry, because in the near future, I will leave the school where I grew up. There are many good memories here, whether with teachers or classmates. At this moment, I have indescribable happiness. These girls who came to Turkey from Syria never thought that they would be able to wear this square hat at this moment. Today is the best day for me. The joy of success is the sweetest joy in the world. It will take us to another stage of life, especially with friends and family. This school has memories of our hard work for many years. This day is a graduation ceremony of a high school girls' class of El Manha School. 21 graduates will build their dreams. I hope to become an astronaut in the future. This is my wish. Many people tell me that this wish is difficult or impossible to achieve, but it will not prevent me from reaching my dream. I will work harder to study astronomy and physics and move towards my goal. Have it now. I hope that in the future, I will be like teacher facial and be a person who can help others. Such a life is valuable. I hope to be the noble person in others' life. At this moment, the most precious thing is the company of friends and the full expectation of teachers. Education makes them full of vitality for children of this generation because they can learn. They are more full of ideals and ambitions for their future. Be grateful to Allah. 
They are about to develop their abilities freely and welcome another development to the next level. I hope that these children graduate today. It does not mean that there is an end to this school, but that they can bring this love to society and become useful people in the future. They can also spread this love to the others in the future. I encourage them to continue to study and work hard after graduation. Regardless of whether they will enter the family or the society, they will be able to perform their abilities. I hope they will have the bright future and be able to find their own happiness. Holding graduation certificates, the girls will take everyone's blessing to be successful. The Stem Cell Center has received eight thank you letters with cool drawings from the family of a bone marrow recipient, expressing their gratitude to the donor for his selfless dedication. This love continues the life of a child suffering from congenital anemia, bringing him hopes and a promising future. Opening the box, there were handwritten letters inside. These letters were from the family of a bone marrow recipient to thank the donor. They are full of blessings from family members. The most impressive thing is a picture draw by a kid. Even if he doesn't know how to write, he used pictures to express his gratitude. The System Cell Center often receives thank you letters and passes them to the donors. This time is the one the same person received the most letters. For the first time, grandpa and grandma, father and mother, and many others, there are eight letters in total from the whole family, expressing their gratitude to the donor for his love to save a family. It's very touching to get reborn. Each letter reveals full gratitude to the donors, and it also shows the deep bonding in this family. The elder brother wrote thank you on behalf of his younger brother. He wrote, Helping others is the foundation of happiness. You must be a happy person. You are the savior of the whole family. Bless you, smile always. These simple wordings directly convey the feelings of all the family members. He gave us a chance to be born again and a promising future to the whole family so that he can have a new start and new hope. The whole family are very grateful to him. I eagerly hope that I can have a chance to meet him in person to say thank you one day. The Stem Cell Center acts as a transfer station of love to deliver recipients full gratitude to the donors. The pandemic in Malaysia continues to spread and the government's movement control order has yet to be lifted. Schools are suspected for more than two months and school students have to take online classes at home. However, many disadvantaged children cannot keep up with their learning progress as their parents do not have income to buy enough computer equipment at home. For this reason, Susie Volunteers launched a charity campaign to raise second-hand computers so that these children do not lag behind in their studies. From the back of this volunteer's car, computer towers and monitors are being moved. Finally, these sisters no longer have to use small mobile phone screens to take online lessons. While waiting for the volunteers to assemble the equipment, their joy is written all over their faces. Today, the volunteers brought you computers. How do you feel? Do you feel very happy? The hardware one also needs wireless internet. Volunteers could not connect for a long time, but fortunately, the boss of a computer company came to help. We hope when we send a computer, it must deliver its functions to let the children go online for classes and to create joy. I'm very happy to receive your help. My child is really grateful. After Malaysia implemented a complete lockdown order, many children from disadvantaged families are like these sisters who have no computer to use. Tang Moi Ching is from East Malaysia and has nine children with his wife, but there are only two mobile phones at home. Volunteers also give a helping hand to them. The computer is okay, there is no problem. It will be easier for my daughter to do her homework, and she's very happy. Thank you very much. 
These secondhand computers are the love raised by Digi Volunteers. It has helped these students continue their learning during these difficult times. In Canada, many families have been affected by the pandemic. In North Toronto, the local food bank helped up to 1,400 people every month. Local citizen volunteers bought fruits and vegetables and delivered them to the food bank in person. It took two Tsuji volunteers about 45 minutes to shop for apples, colorful bell peppers, and various vegetables, and one trolley was full. Then the volunteers went to another supermarket. Zhu Musheng, who works here, has prepared fruits and vegetables needed by Tsuji. I'm very grateful to the owner of this supermarket. She gave us almost a purchase price. This is a helping move. During the pandemic, she helped those in need. Oh, no, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, okay, I will see you in eight minutes. Okay, take okay, care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Take care. Bye. The city of Richmond Hill experienced an unprecedented heat wave. In July, fresh ingredients must be returned to the refrigerator quickly. The refrigerator in the food bank was already empty and Tsuji came at the right time. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Thank you very, very much. Uh, these kind of vegetables um, are too expensive to purchase. Um, so people lead to canned um, vegetables and canned things when we can um, do something like this. This foundation has really uh, made a difference to the Richmond Hill Community Food Bank. We are so, so thrilled uh, that you could help us um, and our 1,400 clients that we serve each month. The pandemic has caused more low-income families with the support of Tsuji and supermarkets, Food Bank has made it more dentamide to do good. I would give you a hug. Yes, yes. <laughs> now, in Singapore, the pandemic has erupted in many migrant workers' dormitories since last year, leading to a very strict pandemic prevention measures in dormitories. Many workers cannot return to their hometown and their freedom is restricted, which affects their emotions. Since the Singapore chapter cooperated with the Ministry of Manpower and other NGOs to plan a series of activities for these migrant workers to protect their mental health. Volunteers meet in Little India to buy ingredients as today's task is to prepare authentic Bengali food for migrant workers in the dorm. This is also one of the cooperative projects between Zuji and the Singapore Foreign Worker Association. We are our Bangladeshi culture actually over here. Pre COVID, I actually come very often. Now, very seldom come here because we cannot go out. This group of migrant workers all left their homes. For them, in this place being respected and accepted is actually the kind of treatment they most desire. During the pandemic, the migrant workers' dormitory had strict epidemic prevention measures. Migrant workers faced movement restrictions for a long time, and their mental health was becoming a concern. CG Singapore cooperated with the Ministry of Manpower and other nonprofit organizations to plan a series of activities according to the needs of migrant workers to relieve their stress. Reaching your right hand up to the ceiling, rotate the chest facing to the right knee. In the first stage of activities, there are Pilates instruction and online mental health lectures. Although I didn't meet the migrant workers face to face, I hope you all learn to live in the moment. I also taught everyone during this time to care for the people around you. They understand the migrants' views and feelings. So, and we also understand Suchi, that how they work. That's why I find out this partnership is very meaningful. Sharing the same land, we should not distinguish between different cultures and religions. We should not let the pandemic cool down the compassion felt between us. In Jusen Village, Tongno Township, Meili County, solar power will be developed on a hillside covering an area of 8.3 hectares which may endanger the habitat of the leopard cat, which is a level 1 endangered species. 
the Leopard Cats Association of Taiwan went to the Maoli County government to deliver a petition, hoping that the county government can reveal the case. This is a very beautiful shallow mountain behind me. It's a private land, so we cannot get in, but it is an important habitat for leopard cats. Recently, a solar power company wants to develop a plant here. We asked the Leopard Cat Association Taiwan Secretary General of why this place is so important to the leopard cat. From here, if we go in this direction to the north, we arrive in Maoli's Gongguan and then Maoli City. To the southwest is Xihu, and to the west we go to Tongxiao, and then south to San Yi. It is an important corridor and crossroads for different leopard cats groups. We think this place is a very important place for them and it needs to be preserved. The 8.3 hectares of woodland was originally a tea plantation because it has been idle for many years and the ecological restoration is good, it has become an excellent power plant site in the eyes of solar power developers. There is actually a better location. For example, in the neighboring San Yi Industrial Zone, if the parking lot there is used as a roof-type solar power panel, it will actually have an area of at least 20 hectares. Also in Zhusen village, some young farmers choose to preserve the hillsides to protect the original environment. The land is alive. If you cut down the trees and cover it with dead solar panels, the whole land will be useless. And the camera set up in the shallow mountain has already captured the leopard cat. Actually, it's not just leopard cats. We also have pangolins, crab-eating mangoes, barking deer, and mask palm civet. As the solar power development cases frequently lead to disputes over inappropriate site selection in the past few years, the Council of Agriculture slammed on the brakes in July last year and amended the regulations. The Jusen project was applied for in May of last year. As long as the local government passed approval, it was almost ready for development. It's already a forest. If you want to develop a photoelectric case, you must cut down the forest. It does not conform to the principle of the green energy. Second, this place is also an important habitat for leopard cats. So we will advocate that the county government should reject this development case. According to the regional planning law and the related regulations of non-urban land development, it will be reviewed by our task force before it will be submitted to committee for a resolution. In order to defend the mountain, environmental groups went to the Maui County government on August 2nd to express their feelings, but there are also community representatives expressing their willingness to support development. The Zhusheng community continues to monitor the hillside land on the east side of the railway, and there's no trace of the leopard cat. If it is not a habitat, it should be used rationally. I also agree that the case should be passed if it is not located in the important habitat of the leopard cat. Whether this development case will be rejected or will it successfully pass through the barriers will require follow-up observation. A social worker in Danin Tsuzi Hospital prepared some tooth holders, paper clay and colored pens for the children with COVID to have some fun when they stay in the ward. We'll leave you with these images. Thank you and see you next time.